Hi, this is a video on uh, how to tear down and ultimately reseal the power steering pump for a 97 Honda Accord. So we'll cover that, give you a quick look at what this looks like to see if this is what you're going to be working on. Behind the pulley are two bolts. Those are just placed back in there. They were originally holding the upper power steering hose. So we're going to start by removing those. Those are our 10 millimeter bolts. So we'll back those out and get them out of the way. Next order of business. You look in that valve train, right down that bore, you'll see two clips. So you can grab either one of those clips, either edge of the clip, I should say, with a tiny needle nose pliers and just pull it out. And the clip is just a really fine piece of wire that's holding this uh, valve in. Pliers right down in there. That's what the clip looks like. Now we're going to get some regular size needle nose pliers. Get right down in there. We're going to grab the top of this guy, just like so, and wiggle it out. Now it helps to hold it upside down. comes. Now, so to note with this, here's the top of the valve we were looking at. If you flip it over, it's got a roll pin there. Now that is to index or clock it. So, you know, it could either be at the 12 o'clock position, 3 o'clock, so on and so forth. In this particular case, when you look down the bore, there is a hole there. And of course that roll pin mates with that and that'll allow the pin or the entire valve to drop far enough in so you can get the snap ring back in that wire clip. You see that groove in the bore. If you don't see that then the valve is not lined up all the way. Next order of business is this hose bib. One ten millimeter bolt. We'll pull that one out. This guy's got an O-ring and it's stayed within the pump housing. We'll peel that out. Just a little guy. Now we're going to move over here to this cover. It has three 10 millimeter bolts holding this cover on. And this is your pressure regulator valve and spring. It is under spring tension, but it's uh, nothing to worry about. Pull the spring out to get a look at that. Of course now our valve, as you can see, is down in there. So we're going to knock that out. Okay. There's the pressure regulator valve. Now this end here that looks like the, a, the head of a bolt. That's going to be the end that faces out towards the cover and the spring is going to be on that side of the valve. So keep that in mind for future reference. Okay, next order of business will be this back cover. This back cover is held on by four 12 millimeter bolts. And as you can see, this cover could go on, you know, one of four ways. So anytime you're taking off a cover like this, it's always a good idea to index it. Take a screwdriver, run it down, make a line so there's a scratch on, on the, the main housing of the pump and there's a scratch on the cover. Now you'll know when you're going back together that it goes exactly that way as opposed to the other three ways that it could go on. It'll just save you some time, make your life easier. This is also under spring tension. Once again, nothing to really worry about. It's not gonna kill you. As you can see, it has popped up on its own. Move these four bolts. And wiggle the cover off. And you'll notice, of course, the O ring, black O ring around it, rock hard once again. Also, notice needle bearing. Then you've got two shafts 
one obviously longer than the other. Uh, not as notable to the eye, the one nearest my thumb is actually larger in diameter. So keep that in mind when you're going back together. You've got a, a vein style pump with a rotor and a pump slide. We're gonna pull the pump slide first. The thing to bear in mind when you're pulling this pump slide, there's a there's a dot right there. So let's pull this out. Once again, one dot next to my index finger. If we flip this pump slide over, you're gonna see two dots over by my thumb. So that's the difference. You want the one dot facing the cover for reassembly purposes. Now we're gonna move on to the rotor. The rotor has two dots, one at the 12 o'clock position and one at the six o'clock position. This also has the veins in it and all the veins may wanna fall out. The thing to keep in mind, let's pull one vein out. I wanna show you that these are directional. And there's a wear mark on them. There it is. I'm holding this vein with a magnet. But if you see right there, the center of the vein has that dark spot. Now that's a wear spot because that's where all the load is as this thing turns. This vein is taking a lot of load. Now you want to make sure you put this vein in the exact same way that it came out, only because uh, the wear patterns are different on each side of the vein. Now I've removed a vein course at the 12 o'clock position but if you look at the either vein to the side of it um, the outer edge of the vein that would ride against that pump slide that we've already removed in the last step that outer edge of that vein is rounded as opposed to being squared off now the inner edge that's in that little pocket right above my thumbnail that edge of it is squared off so when you look at them closely you're gonna see the difference when you have the vein out Thing to keep in mind, that wear pattern I just showed you, that has the wear pattern in the center of the vein, that needs to be on the left side. So if you're looking at this one at the 12 o'clock position, that wear pattern needs to face to the left as you're going in. Also with the rounded edge facing out. So both of those things need to, need to be kept in mind when you're putting these veins back in. We're gonna remove this rotor. Once again, two dots. These dots need to face out when you go back together. Remove the rotor. We've got the other side of the pump, so we're going to pull that out. Here's the side that rides against the veins, nice and smooth. We flip it over. This side rides towards the pump pulley. It's got two O-rings right there, one on the larger circumference and one on the smaller circumference. So both of those will come off because they will come in the kit. Last but not least, the spring. Okay. Now we've got our pulley. It needs to come off. That's held on with a 19 millimeter bolt or nut, I'm sorry. The thing to keep in mind here, the threads on this thing are reverse of what you would normally have. So normally I would, you know, put my gun in reverse to back this bolt out. However, since this is reverse threads, me backing it out, if you will, is actually tightening the nut. So actually we wanna go forward on this. Okay. Remove the nut. This pulley is not indexed. You can pull it off and put it back on in any position you wish to. Nothing critical there. Underneath the pulley is our bearing. And holding this bearing in, it's pressed into this housing, but also holding it in is a snap ring. You'll see an eyelet there, as well as an eyelet right on the other side there. So we'll take some snap ring pliers, compress that, pull it out. Another thing to bear in mind, both sides look identical. However, the very outer edge where my fingers are touching, this side of it that was facing up towards the pulley is flat, whereas the other side is rounded. You always wanna have the flat side facing out. 
Underneath this bearing is our metal clad shaft seal. The way to get that out is to drive is to drive this shaft from this pump cover, the backside, straight out forward towards where the pulley was. So in this instance, we're going to use an arbor press. If you had to and you don't have an arbor press, you could use a hammer on this. The wood would probably be the best. Put a piece of wood on there and then hammer it out. You don't want to booger this end up because this, this part of the shaft, if you recall, is going to meet with this cover. It's going to have to go into that bearing. And if it's all boogered up, you're, it's not going to work. All right, got the pump over here on the arbor press. Down. Like I said, now we got the snap ring out of there. We're going to press the shaft and the bearing out. Keep the hand on there, keep that from falling out. Like I said, you press out this shaft and the bearing. Of course, they're pressed together. And don't forget the selective washer sits right on the back of that bearing. So when you go back together, you're going to want to put that in there because if you don't, you're going to have all kinds of slop. Um, you're going to have end play, basically, which is bad news for this thing. So now, Back to your pump assembly here, the housing. Now you can get to that seal that's down in there, which is going to come with your kit. Um, the easiest way to probably get this thing out is just to come from the back side, stick a screwdriver down in there. Like so. And hammer it through and it'll pop out. Shouldn't take much. But I'm going to get all this scrubbed up in the solvent tank, and the next video will cover reassembly. Thank you very much.